Join us March 28th through April 11th on our One Nation featuring Washington, D.C. and New York City tour. On day two, you'll visit the Studebaker National Museum. This spacious museum has three floors of presidential carriages, car culture history, and sleek vintage cars. Day three, we arrive in Gettysburg. We'll visit the Peace Monument and Gettysburg National Cemetery. This cemetery is the final resting place for more than 3,500 Union soldiers killed in the Battle of Gettysburg. Day four, we have a guided battlefield tour of the Gettysburg National Military Park, the site of one of the most crucial battles of the Civil War, which lasted for more than three days. Our guide will really bring this battle to life for us. In the afternoon, we have a guided tour of Mount Vernon, the beloved home of President Washington. Day 5 is a full day experiencing Washington with a personal tour guide. Your day begins with a Capitol tour, the symbol of the American people, and a meeting place for the nation's legislature. The remainder of the day will be a guided Washington, D.C. tour, including the Library of Congress, Supreme Court, Embassy Row, and much more. Don't forget your camera. There's a photo staff at the White House. A tour of the Holocaust Museum is always an emotional experience. Be ready to be dazzled this evening with a lighted city tour of D.C. As is seen, the Arlington National Cemetery, the final resting place for more than 400,000 active duty service members, veterans, and their families. We'll have a local guide on day six to show us around. We'll visit the Pentagon 911 Memorial, where we shall always remember. We'll also visit the Jefferson Memorial, Lincoln, Vietnam, and Korean Memorial, just to name a few. Day 7, you visit the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception, the largest Roman Catholic church in North America. Time will be allowed to attend Mass, or you may choose to enjoy fellowship in the cafeteria of the church. Then tour at your leisure the Museum of the Bible, one of D.C.'s newest museums. In Philadelphia, you'll have a guided city tour. The day also includes a tour of Independence Hall, where both the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution were debated and adopted. Christ Church, founded in 1695 as a parish of the Church of England, will also be toured. Your guide to New York City tour includes the Empire State Building, Uptown Touring, Alice in Wonderland Walk in Central Park, Grand Central Tour, we'll tour downtown, visit the 911 Museum and Memorial, Wall Street, Greenwich Village, Chinatown, walk in Little Italy, and drive by the United Nations. No tour to New York City would be complete without seeing the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. Day 13, we've added two new attractions that are receiving praise worldwide. The first attraction is the Ark Encounter, a full-size Noah's Ark built according to the dimensions given in the Bible. It spans 500 feet long and 85 feet wide. It's considered to be an absolute engineering marvel. Following the Ark Encounter, there's a self-guided tour of the Creation Museum. Walk through biblical history as you explore exhibits, such as the stunning Garden of Eden, Noah's Ark, or the Tower of Babel. On day 14, you'll have the opportunity to tour the Ronald Reagan boyhood home. The 40th president, Ronald Reagan, lived as a youth here beginning in 1920. The home was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1982. So join us for a One Nation tour March 28th through April 11th. This is a bucket list tour you're sure not to forget.